after a long and grueling war in the north with Denmark, Sweden, and Pomerania. The Holy Roman Emperor in Bohemia has managed to isolate his primary rival and managed to take some clay along the Baltic sea line. Now called into a war in the south, he must hope in the benevolence of his ally in Austria if he hopes to achieve his primary goals. Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is indeed Taco Bowler. We're going to continue our Bohemia campaign today, playing, of course, as Bohemia. Um, this is a new recording session for me, so I've been kind of going through and trying to figure out what we were doing. We have been called, excuse me, we've been called into a war by Austria, uh, who I really don't want to grow that large, but we'll see what we can do here. We have asked for these two, hopefully they give them to us. If we can get them, we will release Nitra, and then, uh, then we'll probably uh, transfer Silesia to Nitra by integration. Uh, we need that in our grasp uh, when all is said and done for uh, the Great Moravia achievement. And so, uh, fortunately, the Ottomans have not yet taken any of that, but it does look promising they'll come back for more later on. Uh, but that is a long ways away. We also now get sailors. Um, of course, right now, I get zero per month um, for reasons. But uh, I do think that building at these places isn't necessarily terrible once we get cores in place. So we have a rebellion up here from Pomeranian Separatists, and we're going to try and put that down. And... Uh, these guys are coming back here. We've pretty much decided we're not going to help uh, Austria against Hungary anymore. It's pretty much Austria versus France. And uh, we're going to get ready, trying to get ready for a war with Denmark uh, very soon. We are of 8 of 6, and um, I do think that there is a chance that this is the last thing we do with Austria, is we use whatever we get from here. Now that's not a fort, right? No. So let's go back here. That we will just use whatever we get from um, from Austria in terms of favors against Denmark, and then uh, get rid of them. <clears throat> Maybe Poland or something like that. But we're going to try and take Sweden. We're going to try and take Nitra. And so um, you know, having some of this. Oh, I apparently I don't have a fort in the area, so I have to. Uh, Oh, nope. My friends are going to do that for me. They are so kind. I do th think that uh, we have money, so we are fine there. What is my uh, force limit combat width? Excuse me, 25 now. Uh, so we do need to, when we get manpower, we do need to get that up to 25. And so we will uh, make sure we deal with that. Now, Austria has war score, right? They have 15 war score against France right now. Uh, they'd have more if they would just get on the capital, but they have decided that's not something they need to do. So... I can't get to Paris. I'm going to try and mess with Ragusa. I really don't like the idea of doing that, but we can maybe help them understand what they need to do. Now, we have uh, two new states we can make, and I do want to go ahead and make both of those states. We can purchase another ability. That would be... Um, we're not going to use any of those. I guess that's the most likely to be used, but it won't be used. Let's face it. And Austria is, is having issues over here, Siege, seizing that down. All right, we overran them there. Let's go ahead and move um, half of my army off, just so we're not uh, messing with 
uh, Ragusa in that way. And we'll just finish this out, or just so we, we're not uh, keeping the cannons uh, protected. That's what I'm trying to do. We'll just move this right on out there. Don't really know what Austria would be doing with Ragusa, but I don't really want them to get any of this land either, so I will just keep hold of it. And I do have the issue, of course. Okay, I, I think I can get my claim. I think I only have one claim, yes. And we'll get a claim on their capital. We'll stop building spy network. I want them to be independent, but I want to be able to declare war on them. Alright. I am curious what Austria would, or what Hungary would give me if I pieced out. They're not too far away from that. Right there. <laughs> if uh, France left, they would do it. Let's go ahead and move into position. We do have uh, Hungary getting unseaged over here. We're going to go ahead and make that one up to the limit, just to, because I can, I have the manpower at this exact moment in time. Uh, looks like we need to side with the nobility here. The Ottomans have entered a golden era. We are in our golden era. Alright, so Austria has pieced out with... Um, has pieced out with Bragusa. That probably means we are much further away. Yeah, we don't have 10 war score. Oh man, I lost my cardinal. I am making stuff here. Did I ever enter the fray? I have not. I need to spend five to enter the fray. Just to hope to get that sweet, sweet papal controller uh, bonuses. Right, we are going to try and move over here and just make them scared. Because we're like a year away from being able to attack Denmark, but I don't have any manpower because of Austria. Of course, I can slacken standards, so I probably have more manpower than, than uh, they know. And that is worth nine war score, but I don't think for us. Worship of the Virgin Mary. Um, we can make them gain reform desire, or we can lower the Papal State's opinion of us. They are our allies, so we kind of want them to uh, like us. Uh, yes, I will take free money. That sounds lovely. And I can make the other state, and I will. And we will just keep a little bit of land. Okay. We have a new king and a new heir. And so, if you remember from an uh, early episode, we had a Hussite uh, take the throne at the very, very beginning. Now, where will this be? Cheb. That's like here. We'll just move. And um, so that actually ruined a lot of things. Uh, we were a heretic in the eyes of, of a lot of things. So we can bend the knee to Rome, which would lose one stability, but we can lose that. And uh, Papal State likes us more, or we continue to have the problems uh, of being a Hussite. So I think we need to bend a knee to Rome. We're going to lose one stability and gain five Papal influence. We are still the Emperor. That is very good. I'm very 
very happy to see that. Let's go ahead and um, improve relations with Brandenburg. And we're going to improve relations with Maine. And we'll improve relations with Trier just to try and get those last few votes in line. We are in place. God is with the new king. And what that means is we're finally gaining papal influence, which is very, very nice. I like to see that. Austria has insulted us, which is exactly what you should always do when you're in a, in a war with somebody on your side, is insult them. So now that those are states, um, I do think we we have so few um, so few uh, territories up here. I do think that we would like to build navy buildings, even. Some of these, right? The shipyards are where they are. We can try and get shipyards here, but I do think we want to build these buildings that normally I would never build, but honestly, we gain three sailors each month. Our maximum is 406. If we're going to field any kind of a navy, we have to have some at some point. Uh, and I think with so few territories, at least for a while, uh, that is going to be something that we need to be doing. And so Austria has finally gotten on Paris. Um, we have eight war score with Hungary, and they would not give us what we want anyway. So we are trusting in um, no get off of that tile. I'm trying to build a building there. I can get uh, some monarch power here. So we have National Manpower Modifier, uh, who's level two. I don't have any half price guys. So I think that um, we're making nine ducats. We can afford a level two. Support defense, land maintenance, morale of armies, national manpower. Power. Definitely not manpower. We have, should have enough with the Roman, or with the uh, emperorship. So morale of armies, fort defense, land maintenance. Um, I think morale of armies is better than land maintenance because I don't think we're really hurting for money. So we will do morale of armies. And, uh, yeah, Venice can walk all over our lands if they wish. And we'll siege that back. And we will also make this in line. Come back home. And we lost a general, but not one we were using, so... That's not a problem. So I do have one more question here. So let me tell Norway that I want this. And then let me ask for military access with England. Now, Norway has uh, noble rebels that are causing problems. They do not currently have claims here. They have plenty of claims in Sweden, uh, but none here. And there goes Paris. Hopefully France will peace out soon. They are still on high, they're, now they're at medium. War Enthusiasm's at one. And um, the air is strict. Let's see, I still have some buildings. We can't build until they're done here, but uh, I do want to build some ships. I have a 
force limit of 13, which is expected. I'm going to build um, transports. And my idea here, I'm going to move this army up here. If this will work. Now, they are allied to France and Sligo. Sligo is just Scotland. Go ahead and split that up to avoid attrition. Now, come on, Austria. Okay. So I think the truce with Denmark is up in April. But if I can, I'm going to actually go a different direction with this. We are going to take this final diplomatic idea, and that will let me hold the first idea. We have advisor costs again, and diplomatic reputation. So we have 4.55. I am going to go ahead and up that one to a level 2 as well. Level 2 is at 2.59 ducats per month. I don't think that's pretty bad. I don't think that's very bad at all. And we can build a few more of these. Let's go ahead and build some just to have a few more um, stuff with that. So they are allied to Holland and Pomerania, which is no one. And uh, let's see. England would come in. I would love to be at peace long enough to pass this reform, but I want my land. And so Austria needs to learn that it's time to get out of the war. This is where we really, 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 paradox, if you're listening, really need the um, button to tell an ally, like, hey, it's time to get out. And give them war exhaustion if we, we get it. Because it, it's time. It, it be time to get out of the war. Actually, stay out of this next war. Norway. There we go. I don't think they gave me anything. They did not. They took a bunch of stuff for themselves and gave me nothing. That is amazing. Well then. Uh, and now they won't join because of war exhaustion. I love this ally. You are a terrible, terrible ally, Austria. We are not... Uh, I, I really want to use those 43 favors, but uh, they'll have to be used in the next war. I do want to uh, go ahead and put this on allies. So here's the question. Oh, yeah, I have no aggressive expansion, so it is time to expand for sure. I think if I call England in, we should be able to maybe even get on the capital of Denmark. We are probably going to need to get on the capital of Denmark in order to make this happen. Uh, hopefully. Maybe not. We'll see. So, um, let us go ahead and do this. Now, the last time we went to war with Denmark, um, we could not take Sweden, and even with the transfer vassal uh, mechanic, but I'm expecting and hoping that this time we actually can, uh, because we have diplomatic ideas, the, we have since gotten province war score cost going down by 20%, and they were only at about 109, so I'm hopeful that that this will change change things. I can call another. I can call Austria to war. Thank you. I would love to use you because you're going to to be gone. And we'll go ahead and recall. Hungary is no longer a valid rival, and so they're a costly embargo, which is 
what it is. We're going to revoke that embargo. Don't know where Brandenburg is. Oh, <laughs> Hungary has announced me as a rival. So we can get 10 Papal Influence or 5 Prestige. We do not need 5 Prestige in any way, shape, or form. So let's get 10 Papal Influence. And there we go. They're going to suicide themselves right into my army. Pomerania is no more. So we're going to, again, take some people off just to keep them from gaining attrition. This is a... Uh, I think we can actually take all of those people off. Do I have a third? I do have a third guy, so we'll give him a general as well. Let's go ahead and split up. Um, or not. We'll just uh, hang out. Oh, they, they took it. Alright, so yeah, shortcut is V. Okay. My shortcut wasn't working there for a moment. We have uh, our ships down here. I think we can begin to build a few more. I don't know how many sailors it takes. 50! Okay. That's kind of what I'm saying. We need more sailors. In three army professionalism. We will again just kind of hang out over here. Uh, England is coming in. They're not going anywhere good. And England's navy is not trying to take the strait. This could be difficult. I did not pass the reform before I went to war. Of course I didn't. Dang it. Oh well. If England's navy does not uh, come around over here, then this could be difficult. So let's get Pomerania fully out of the war. Uh, I want um, war reps from you. I don't need anything else, I don't think. I'd love that you are an ally of Denmark. Um, remove a rivalry or two. That's fine. And uh, we are going to move these guys up to Rival. Hopefully we don't get blocked there. and go. That's Polish land, that's Denmark land, okay. So instead of going there, you cannot get there, so. Uh, yeah, turn around actually, and go take care of this army that's wreaking havoc. And we are now blocked. From there. Lithuania is probably not going to give me... They are willing to give me military access. Aren't they so kind? I think I will pay the diplomatic relation to keep that access. I'll pay the diplomatic power to do that. Denmark's 19,000 coming around. Well, we'll come back to deal with that. Austria got on the capital. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh my goodness, that's great. That is that is great. And the Palatinate's got this one, which means I might be able to actually get there. Oh, England has the straight. Oh, that is fantastic news. Even though Denmark has 19,000 here. I don't care right now. I have armies on Denmark's capital. England is coming through for me. Oh, this is great. So, let's see what we can actually do from Denmark. 87% for that, which means I could probably take some land as well. 
Poland gets angry uh, if we take that land. So let's not take that land. Um, that's obviously the only one that we have claims on. I could take Ozel. I, I could take something over here and release like the Livonian Order. And I would have claims on Denmark then to get all that back. But I already have plenty of uh, friends over here. I could also like take that. Poland still is angry, but they will eventually be fine. If I take that, I'll give it to Sweden right after the war is over. So we have, um, obviously, the fort problem will go away. So we're basically at 249, so we're basically 200 away. And a lot of those will be the taking of the capital. Once we have the capital, life should be much better toward getting this done. As well as, obviously any of that stuff so uh, we have sailors enough to uh, build a couple more cogs I'm going to basically try and get my entire force limit in cogs right now uh, we gain a claim and uh, Poland hates us or we settle the issue for five prestige just for the sake of aggressive expansion right now we will settle that issue Hungary has no allies. We obviously have that long truce with them. They have no allies. They are warned by the Ottomans, not guaranteed by the Ottomans. They're warned by the Ottomans. All right, let's go over here. And England's now on Lund. Oh, this is going great. Cardinal across the border. I can gain a level 3 Diplo guy who is 50% cheaper for my nation to employ. Um, I think I want the Diplo rep and Diplomatic is what we're most in. I think we will... We want the Cardinal, I think, even at the cost of corruption. Um, we have war taxes. We can do free war taxes. Let's do free war taxes. All right. Um, I'm going to lose the prestige there. And we have now taken the capital. All right, let's get back up over here and try and save this fort. If we can't save it, we'll, uh, at the very least, take it back. We'll lose a cog in the process, maybe more. Which would not be any fun. But it is what it is. Alright. They got some bad rolls. All right, they have hired someone from Brunswick. Well, let's go deal with that. We can like stand in Brunswick or something. wait for them to appear, because I can't really see them in things here. <laughs> Brandenburg, that was a mistake for you. Alright, if I don't take this one, I, I really would like to take land over here for myself, but uh, I'd rather feed someone something. And I don't really want Poland to be involved. It looks like Poland might be involved, whether I like it or not. In which case, 
taking land over here isn't a terrible idea. Poland is at 88. Our Poland is at 54. Poland is at 50 for that one. Fifty-two there. Okay. They're a rival, right? They are, but we'll still improve relations because they're not at negative 200. Maybe that will help. We're going to go ahead and go speed 5 because I am that confident in this war. Alright. Um, a level 1, but he is 50% cheaper to employ. And it's stability cost modifier. Or we just gain 20 admin power. I think I'll just gain 20 administrative power. Uh, this is over force limit. How are we over force limit? Okay. Uh, we will take that. And we're going to stop reading out corruption. And we'll be fine. Oh, Brunswick was not hired to Denmark. They were hired to Brandenburg. Gotcha. I think the sudden loss of income is related to that. They're adding provinces to the empire. Why are you doing it now? I don't want you to do it now. I think we can just head home. I think we can just head home. Uh, Hamburg wants 50 Diplo of Power. Or I will lose authority and Hamburg gets these effects. And Hamburg can have the effects. I do not care. Alright, so the Ottomans have come from War of Hungary. So that probably means that we are going to be at war with the Ottomans eventually. And all those provinces added to the HRE by Austria. That's no fun. Come on. Um, I think we'll try and get some money. England's given us 25 ducats. Woo woo. And uh, Denmark has decided to come back. They've unseaged the war goal. That's not any fun at all. There we go. We'll take that army down, siege the war goal back, and we should, emphasis on should, be, uh, be good. 99%. So we will, uh, they'll do Sweden. Clear offer. What happened? Alright. Super peace. There we go. Bohemian vessel. So Sweden will uh, become here. So you can see the difference, right? In uh, transfer of power, it's 50% cheaper. It's what allows Sweden to be taken. And that puts us at 80 uh, aggressive expansion, but 87 war score. So, if we take even one, that puts Poland involved. Right? Yep. Even one is Poland in being involved, unless we take it over here. Right, if we take something like a Kalmar. Poland would still be involved. Probably not like a Lapland, but I'm interested in taking sea provinces. They won't do Gotland, that's obvious. Uh, 
So I think that um, doesn't actually matter. I don't think that Lithuania can join a coalition uh, with Poland here. So I think we're we're good. We can do like that and not matter. Let's do it. And uh, Sweden's liberty desire is high. That's fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine. I want all of my navy to come in over here. And if I can get a, a interest, yeah, ref I want to reduce inflation. That is what I wish to do. So we need to uh, stop having reinforcements cost me so much. And um, let's see. Financially, we'll, we'll be okay. I'm confident we will be okay. This will help if I can uh, go ahead and spend 20 of my prestige. We'll placate Sweden. They will give us two ducats a month, and that will put us ahead. Now, we are obviously behind on Diplo, but we're, we're fine, right? We, we have 80, you know, eight years. Someone took it already. No. I don't know why the neighbor bonus is already at minus five. Um, but we have like eight, eight or nine years before we have to worry about that. And uh, we can, uh, let's see, let's get a few generals. Now, I do uh, no longer have the Star Wars mod on, so we don't have to worry about um, the General Kenobi stuff that had been happening with the Star Wars mod. Um, it's a fun mod, but I grew tired of it. But uh, I'll get rid of a few of these generals. I guess only one more general I need to get rid of. Um, wow, there's so many good ones. I think the maneuver, as good as the maneuver is, we'll get rid of that one. So uh, I have been Taco Buller, and uh, I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have, please leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, on your left is... Um, the latest upload on the channel and on the right is this playlist. So please check it out. Bye-bye.